What is going on guys? This is for the Zog Gaming and I'm here today to give you Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan chapter 47 review and of course the chapter start off with Eren and Ymir and as you can see Ymir is basically healed at this point while Eren body is still rejuvenating because Eren still did not have his hands that and, and that and that right there like really kind of made me wonder why is it that Ymir heal so much faster than Aaron because you know they were both brought back or wherever they are in that fourth in the same condition so you would think that they will heal equally you know at the, at the same amount of time but no you mirror actually heal faster now I'm kind of wondering why is that but but besides that we actually, we actually learned that yeah uh mirror while she was a crazy titan or yeah while she was a titan she ate somebody very close to Rainer and and uh and and Baron Hope called uh, Better. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but I, b I believe it pronounced Better. Now I'm wondering why she ate that person. Like maybe she was like maybe like she was still had had that tight end mindset, you know, to just eat people like like how they do. But of course, because Titans have no digestive organs, even though they eat people, they they just spit them right back out. So I'm kind of wondering. Like what? What kind of problems could her eating somebody so close to them like cause? But of course, there's, there's like no time to worry about that because like they they have to make her their ally rather than you know dwelling on their past and possibly you know start starting a fight with her because who knows like how how that can go. But then we have Benho asking Rainer, "What is he now?" And of course, Rainer still thinks that he is some kind of warrior. Which we all know that he's not a warrior. He's a, he's a mass murderer, just like Benhol. Those two are mass murderers. Like no no questions asked. But then 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 we get a mention of Annie in the chapter actually because she actually spied on people that know the truth behind the walls. And of course, for us to learn the truth about those walls, we need Krista. But speaking of Annie, it turns out that Benhol is actually in love with her. And and really, I can't blame him because even though Annie was a titan, I, I don't really, I don't really consider her evil. But Ben, but Ben Hall definitely has good taste in women. But of course, after after his confession, thanks to Rainer, we know that we know that there are signal flares being shot into the air by none other than the recon troops. So Mikasa, Armin, Levy, all of those guys are getting pretty close to rescuing Ymir and Eren, but. More importantly, Aaron, because you know he's he's the main he, he's the main character of this series, so he definitely need to get out of trouble like very soon, because who knows who knows what will happen. Now, now as we all know, Rainer and Bettenhall wasn't planning on moving them out till you know the sun went down, so that way they did not have to worry about those Titans coming after them. But of course, with the recon troops almost there. They have no choice but to, but to, but to throw that plan out the window and leave because if they don't, they they're going to be sitting ducks and basically everything that they have worked for is going to fail. And now of course now of course they have to get Ymir and and Aaron so so they can leave, but Aaron tries to play out uh, Rainer, but of course even though he's so handicapped, Aaron still has the Aaron still has fight in him. Aaron never gives up no matter what. Which is why he's an awesome character. No matter what happens to him, he always comes back much stronger and better. And right now, he he, he put up a good fight against Rainer, even though he was so handicapped. I mean, of course he of course he's not gonna win because he's not completely healed. But I mean, he he did throw down with him. But of course, since they have no choice, Rainer has to choke him out because if he don't, he he's gonna be a huge problem. But then we have Benhold asking asking uh, Ymir. If she remember if she remembers somebody that she ate or if she remembers anybody that she ate, which is kind of a good question because it makes you wonder, like when you're a Titan and they go back to being human, do you recall or you acting as a Titan? Because I'm pretty sure if people that were once Titans but then 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 went back to humans, they they, they would feel so guilty over all the humans they ate, they they would probably kill themselves over over that guilt. Because I'm pretty sure after Killing people like that, there's no way you can cope with something like that, and there's no off switch for emotions. But luckily, Ymir did not remember that, which is kind of a good thing. But it seems that until five years ago, 
she was a titan. So that's that, that's kind of crazy. But of course, like, but 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 then she realized that she ate somebody close to them. But she says sorry, but I I I, I doubt she like even cares about it because she has no memory of, of of who it was. So it's not like she'll care about it. But of course, Rainer and Brennerhall haven't had a memory of them being titan before they were human either. So. I, I, so it's, it's kind of weird though how memory plays a huge part in this series for certain characters because they they lose it once they become a human so I'm kind of wondering back when they were titans what in the world were they doing especially Benahos who is the colossal titan I'm wondering just what the heck would they doing like before then but of course Aaron starts to black out because he's choking them but it turns out that Ymir had been a titan Six for about sixty years, and and she like she she in her teenage years. So I'm wondering, as a Titan, do you not age or age very slowly? And and, and when you when you go back to being human, is that when you age regularly? It's like there are a lot of un there are a lot of unanswered questions in this series. But that I'm hoping that gets answered because this, this chapter definitely makes you wonder a lot, and I mean a lot. But of course, Aaron is now blacked out completely. He passed out thanks to Rainer, and, and they all escape. So of course, they're, they're going they're going through this forest, trying, trying to make like some way out of here without running into the recon troops, and to avoid all those titans that, that were like down there waiting for them in the last chapter. But while they were running away, Ymir looks behind her, and she sees those signal flares, so she knows that the so she knows the uh, recon troops are on their way to rescue them. But of course, even though she can't see them, I'm guessing that they are so close, she actually knows that Krista is the person that they all need is there. I, I, I don't know how she, she figured that out, even though that it, there's no way that she can know that, but Krista is, is on the way. So now, so now that Ymir is like a partner with them, she actually tells them that if they want to get Krista, it has to be now. Like, there's, there's no more waiting. If they want Krista, he has to be right now that they have to go get her. So, of course, like, Rainer, Rainer knows that if he goes there, it's going to be suicide. Because, let's be honest, they have Mikasa and Levy there, which I'm pretty sure can bring can bring down the Armor Titan with no problem. Now, with the Colossal, with the Colossal Titan now, that might be a problem because, you know, he's so big and, and he has that steam there. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how easy it'll be for them, but I definitely, I, I think that those two could take down Rainer with no problem at all. But then Ymir, she actually, like, she she flipped the table on them. Because basically, it's like, if, if, if they don't get Krista, she, she, she's gonna, you know, transform and kill them all. Because she realizes that, that she's the strongest one there. Even though she's the smallest, she's the fastest one, which actually makes her the strongest. So it's like, if, if they don't get Krista, she'll just change because she's fully healed now. She can do it. She'll change and kill them all. And she will because you can tell she was, she was very serious about it. But luckily, and I mean luckily, she had a plan for it. It's not like she was going to rush in there with like like, like a chicken with like cut off his head. She, she actually was, she was, she was pretty smart about it. And she had this idea. Now, I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a plan that it seemed to work out for the most part. But the thing is, though, uh, Ymir cared about nothing but herself and Krista. She don't even care if she takes Krista's future away because, according to herself, she is a shitty human. Now, she called herself that, and in this chapter, she kind of proved it. I mean, even though she, she should stay allied to Aaron, she actually got what she wanted. She actually made them, you know, wait for her. She had her plan, and she, and she did what she wanted, and it, it paid off. But of course, while while they are getting close to while they're getting close to the uh, to the forest, there is this light. So I'm guessing that every time somebody becomes a titan, there's always this light that that will appear. So of course, now now that all these humans are here, those titans kind of kind of take their attention away from 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 that little from that small group to a much bigger one. As you can see. One of the people on the horses actually lost their lives, but you know what? That recon troop, there's nothing they can do. You know, they they just march on and do their thing. Like sadly, that person has to die, 
it was their time apparently. So of course, you know, the, af after they all go up, go up in the trees, they actually hear a titan's cry. Now I think it might be Rainer, because I'm pretty sure that Deca, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that that Hall wouldn't become his his titan, you know, in a forest, just because he'll be way too big. So personally, I, I thought it was going to be I was I thought it'd be Rainer, but it turned out it was Ymir. Now I had no idea what Ymir was like playing at first. But she was just so quiet, and and it turns out that that she was just like looking at everybody, you know, pointing them out. And but then everything changed when like Krista appeared, because she actually like she actually like really looked at look at her pretty quickly. And of course, you know, Krista is of course gonna be happy that her friend is safe, and thinking that they're gonna be all right. But then you you see Ymir pull the ultimate fucked up move. It's like, damn Ymir. You are freaking scary because she ate Krista, and it was just like really crazy because I did not think she was gonna do that, but she ate her. Now of course she she's not gonna swallow Krista. I mean she in her mouth, but Krista being the kind of person that she is, I'm pretty sure that she's not gonna fight her way out. So basically, Krista is a Ymir like mercy right now because she won't do anything. But of course, with Ymir being so much faster. Like even being faster than them on on their three D gear, they they can't catch up. So so Ymir being so much faster thanks to the trees around her, she's able to get back to Rainer, and of course now now that she's back, Rainer goes into action and he becomes the Armored Titan. So of course now that everybody's all together, they they had no other option. Well, they had no other choice but you know to get out of there because they all got what they came for. Ymir is happy and they can escape. But of course they, they still had the recon troop on their tail. So like e even though they are out the forest, they are, they are still in trouble because they have they have all the people like still on their tail. So I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen if they catch up. Will Rainer actually fight them? Will Ymir actually, you know, go back and try to stall them? But then again, I kind of doubt it because she's she not going to go back with Krista in her mouth. That that would just not happening. But of course, at, at at the end of the chapter, it says somebody's sacrifice and it's inescapable, which means I'm pretty sure in the next chapter somebody is going to have to sacrifice themselves to do something. Now I'm not sure who that is, but I have a feeling that it might be Ymir. She actually might sacrifice herself because Krista cares a lot about Rainer. And of course, you never know what Ymir might do now. Now now that, that she kind of betrayed them, you never know. She might go back there and kill them. But I definitely got I have to get a chapter a four a four point five out of five. Cause this chapter was just amazing. I love this chapter. Like so much went down. And we definitely learned a lot more about Ymir. And she got so much character the the uh she got so much character development from this. It was just crazy. It, it was good. I, I liked it a lot. So anyway, guys, that, that, that was my review. Hopefully, you all are enjoying it. I, I am trying to get better. I'm sorry for all the stuttering, but, you know, it, it always happens to me, so I can't really control that. But anyway, hopefully, you guys like it. Please leave a like, and I would love to read some of your comments because I, I, I will respond to them, you know, because I, I love talking to you guys. I really do. But anyway, you guys take it easy, and I will see you all in my next review. So, so long, guys.